Punch with Kathy and Steve. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we are going to show you how to use the fun product, Stiffy. Now what is Stiffy? Stiffy is simply a fabric stiffener that you can make so many fun craft projects just like these. It's really easy to work with and it's going to work on cotton, cotton blends, cheesecloth, yarn, embroidery floss, lace, you name it. If it's a textile, it's probably going to work on it. And all you're going to do is soak your fabric or your lace in the Stiffy formula and once it's dry, it's going to be stiff just like this mm -hmm. and perfect for creating so many different crafts. So let's start with the classic and the class of course is the ghost using cheesecloth. You just soak your cheesecloth in the Stiffy, put it over a form, and create the ghost. How fun. These are so fun at Halloween. You can yes. put them on your tables, hang them in the tree. All over the place. They're awesome. Now one of my favorite projects that's really trendy right now is using doilies and stiffening them. You can stiffen them with the Stiffy formula and make bowls like this. And you can also make these awesome flowers. You could do all sorts of different projects just stiffening doilies. So we got this fabric at the fabric store soaked it in stiffy, let it dry, and then cut out the little cupcakes just like that. And then we strung them together and made this little tiny banner here and put it on top of a cake. How cool is that? Now you can make them small like this, you can go larger, you can do all sorts of things. Oh yeah, if you can make a big party one or a holiday one. Great for birthday parties. Put it at your mantle, yeah. across your front door. Really, really fun stuff. Now another fabric stiffening project is making jewelry. You can do bracelets, mm -hmm. earrings, necklaces, headbands, you name it. This one is just kind of a modern take on a collar necklace and you can see that that's stiffened. Once the fabric's been stiffened, you can cut that and you're not going to get a frayed edge, which is one of my favorite things about this uh, product. The other cool thing is once it's stiffened, you can use uh, paper punches, your regular scrap looking punches, and you can go right in and you can punch out a shape just like so like right. and that creates these extra little bits you can use them for scrapbooking embellishments jewelry whatever you want it'll also work on most of your die cutting machines and of course really scissors any shape you want oh yeah and then no fray edge no makes fray it edge. really great okay one of my favorites with the product stiffy is making these eggs how cool is that and that is just embroidery floss now you wonder how do you make an egg like that well it's this <laughs> a balloon. So you just blow up a balloon, put the stiffy on top of your embroidery floss, and just wrap Keep this wrapping. around. This is three different colors. Beautiful. This is great in a big giant bowl. It's great decoration for the home. Oh yeah, perfect for Easter. I love those. Another really fun. Ooh, that was like a <laughs> crafting. I almost lost an eye. <laughs> <laughs> so another really fun uh, way to use yarn is just using yarn to create a nest or any kind of thing like that. This was just regular yarn that we soaked in the Stiffy formula and then I used a tin foil base to create sort of a nest shape and then use that here on this wreath. Of course you could also do this for tabletop decor or whatever you want. Such a fun way to use up scraps of yarn. Now here is a door sign that we made. And this right here is just an old dishcloth. So recycling dishcloths are great with Stiffy. It's just a dishcloth and right here we wrote out the word home using lace. Again, just put the lace in the Stiffy and just molded the letters out. And then we added some buttons, a flag, great front door, very patriotic. Love that project. Yeah, it's a really cool way to use dish towels. Now, going back into our kitchen drawer, we have a pulp paper mm. placemat and we are going to show you how to turn this placemat into this gorgeous How beautiful bowl. is that? This is so great. Almost, you know, you could use it as a fruit bowl but you could also just put decorative objects in it. Perhaps maybe we'll put the, all the eggs in here. Yes. Okay. So or all the bills. Yeah. It could be a mail no, picture. No bills. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do to make our beautiful bowl is get yourself either a round placemat or a round doily. Now pulp, cotton, wool work great for this project. <laughs> And you want to get yourself the base. Now we use this dollar store bowl, very simple, no big deal, and we put tin foil over it. Now the reason why we got this size is because our placemat is a nice big placemat and you can cover it and you can see this is going to shape this bowl very nicely to look just like this. So make sure that your, your um, doily or your placemat fits the base appropriately. Now if you wanted to do a smaller bowl like our doily bowl here, instead of using a big bowl, 
we used a tin can, just a can of beans that we covered in the tin foil. And you can see how that makes a much smaller shaped bowl, but it's gonna give you a deep well too. Mm -hmm. Now of course the next step is to drop our placemat straight into the stiffy. This is our stiffy here. This is the Mod Podge Stiffy formula. And it comes in two different bottles. You can get a 16 ounce or an eight ounce. And it's milky white. Don't worry about that. It's gonna dry perfectly clear, just like you see on our bowl. You're gonna to wanna to saturate the whole thing. That's key. Make sure that it's saturated, that every piece of that yes. fabric is covered with the stiffy. Just roll it around. It's kind of fun to play with. And kind of wring it out. <laughs> it's quite a messy little project. <laughs> and then you'll just want to loosely wring out any of the excess. Yeah. This is a very messy project. It's a fun project. <laughs> These are the kind I like. Very messy. And once you have it very soaked, you'll be ready just to place it onto your mold. There you go. And you can see this stretched out a little bit. So you want to, you can move it around, make sure you place it appropriately to exactly where you want. And then I like to go in and just kind of tuck in the sides, work it all the way around so that it's kind of flat to the bowl just like so and then you want to set this aside for 24 hours let it completely dry and it's as simple as that and just pop it off and that's what you end up with and this bowl is perfect for putting anything in it that you want well except for maybe cereal no cereal and milk would not work <laughs> thanks for joining us on this episode of mod podge with kathy and steve we hope that we've inspired you to create some stiffy projects of your own see you next time bye <laughs> how come i got the messy gig because <laughs> i got the messy gig last time <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be another pretty bowl. These are gonna be complement each other beautifully. <laughs>